morning everyone, Libby here. <sighs> Taking a deep breath because today I'm going to tackle my book collection. Now thankfully, in a way, I'm dreading it though I am, it's nowhere near as it would have been a couple of years ago when I had a huge collection of romance books. And I really, I think I may have a few floating around but very little. I think I actually got rid of the last few the last time I tackled the upstairs study. So really what I've got is some reference books, quite a few cooking books I guess is going to be the main thing, and uh, organising books. So step one is to go and round them all up. So, <laughs> and I'm not quite sure where to put them. I think I might put them on the dining table. That way if something happens I don't quite get to finish the job today, which I should be able to do, but that way if something happens I'm not sort of stuck with books everywhere. So. Anyway, let's um, go and see where they are. Well, first of all, I know right behind me, up here, I have some organizing books, so I will get them down. In the kitchen, I have some cooking books. Got a few already pulled out I was looking at over the weekend. That one I know can go, but they don't have a slow cooker. And then up here, there is some more. Got some more cooking books here. And there's a scrapbook magazines and stuff that I need to deal with. I'll take them through as well. I plonked them here on the couch because I was already taking them out of the old scrapbook room. Okay, my coffee table here. I have some more books and um, magazines. I think I'm supposed to do two, but uh, there's my magazines that I'm still reading, so I'm going to definitely keep them. I haven't got any more hiding in here. Catalogues. Okay, so it's just a couple. I used to keep a lot more books. I know that's an art thing. I used to have a lot more books in here, but I think I've moved them out. And then my last lot of books is up here. This is going to be quite heavy to take down. They were ones I found in my bedroom. You will grab a tub, pop them in a tub. And take them down. Okay, rather than lug all the reference books, there's not that many of them up and down or downstairs and then back up again. I'm going to sort through them here because I'm sure I can uh, get rid of a lot. Again, I said it's pretty much full of books at one stage, so I've really been good over the years of letting books go. But um, I'll just see if there's. I don't. Obviously, we go back to Scotland and Britain again, I'll probably be looking at these books, but <laughs> I'll see if there's any here that I can let go of and there's a few sort of reference ones up there too so see if we can make some progress here okay according to the Conroe method I'm supposed to just pick up each book and decide without even looking in that whether I'm going to keep it so I already failed because I picked up the first one and started flicking through it to see <laughs> whether it's one I want to keep so these ones are hard because I said I don't use it but hopefully to go back to Scotland again one day and these are the kind of books that I might like to do. I love Scottish history. Most of these books are on Scotland. So, anyway. <laughs> so if there's chills to dry, then I'll put the books back that I want to keep. I'm making some progress. I've got a few there I'm going to keep. Some to donate. And at this point, you pick it up and you go, Oh, I've written from the air. I have to keep these. I love area ones. But then you look at the quality of the photos and... They're not that good compared to what we get these days. So I think I'll donate because I'm sure I could buy a newer book with better quality photos. It's amazing, isn't it, what we get, what we get used to. A lot of aerial shots, but I'm sure there would be a new revised version of this book out. This book's probably at least 10 years old. 2000, so it's 15 years old, so. I'll um, pass that one along too. Oh. Okay, so from my two filled little cubbies there, that's on keeping, I think. Um, again, the other thing you've got to remember with these books is either the photos are like really old, bad quality, or you can get so much information online nowadays. There were a few there I thought that information I would just get online, but I sort of. Um, kept these ones. Obviously like that one's not going to go have a great date. Um, the reason I had all these is I actually used to write um, books on, well I wrote a couple of books set in historical Scotland and I just love the history and stuff so 
I think I'll keep these ones. A couple I kept too if the girls were doing work at school. But again, so much is online. Anyway, that's what I'm going to keep for now. And um, so they're all being donated. They're ones to take downstairs. I think I can check with Lena once that one. She possibly... I don't know. Again, it'll be online, wouldn't it? Alright, I don't know if that one too. That one like that, I might even donate to the library. So I've got a few other ones up here to have a look at. Okay, well this is all my books. I definitely don't have anywhere near as much as I used to have at one stage. This book, <laughs> this table would have probably stacked that high all around at one stage. I had a lot, lot more books. But this is my cookbook collection. Definitely the largest scrapbooking. And actually that's a cookbook as well. <laughs> um, some nice style ones. There might be some more. Let me go and check. I think I was right. I was missing two stacks of books and some simple living books. So <laughs> this is now all my books. One paperback novel. There could be a few, I think, in the space in Athena study tucked away, I think. But not very, very few, so I'm not going to worry about them today. This <laughs> needs a bit of work, so I'll just do as instructed. I'll pick up each book and I'll see. Some I'll put aside. One thing I like to do if I'm having trouble with a book, whether to keep it or not, especially if it's like a, a reference book or a cookbook, if it's something I think, yeah, not really sure at that one, I'll donate it to the library. And that way, if I'm ever looking for the book and I check the library, it'll be there. Um, and I've done that for the last few years and I can honestly say I've never actually gone to the library to get back a book that I have donated. So, But it's something that you think, oh, maybe I want this again. Don't know it's the library. You know where it is if you ever want it. So I can already see a few that I'll be doing that with. But um, let's see what I can get rid of. Okay. These are what I'm keeping. That's what I'm donating. Some I'll probably send to the library I'll just donate. One thing I have discovered about myself while going through this is I don't really like cookbooks without pictures. So I might even go take another look at these and make sure I haven't missed any early on. Um, and also ones that aren't vegetarian. I've still got a few, like I've got that's like a maybe. The other thing I know I'm gonna have a pile at the end is um people whose blogs or YouTube channels I follow. <laughs> and I, I don't really want to get rid of them, so. I'm just trying to think, there was one there, I read her blog for a little while, I let it go, but I've got other ones in here too, I think, well I do, I know there's um, a few, Megan Teltner and Angela Lydon, Oh She Glows is in there, which obviously that one I really, really love, so I'll definitely keep that one, and um, yes, I'm sure there'll be, there'll, I know there's going to be some others <laughs> when I get further along, and again, you're a pioneer woman the blogger so I've got a few like that and I sort of they're hard to let go even though I don't actually like watch read her blog anymore I did watch her tv show for a little while and I enjoy her stuff but I said a lot of it's meat and even the stuff that's not meat it's just not in a way I cook I don't think she's a very healthy cook so I probably should let them go and I've got both of her books here I actually had her novel like her romance or her own, her own personal romance story with her husband, and I read that, and I don't know that a while ago, I, I liked it, but I knew I wasn't going to reread it, so, hmm. Anyway, I will play a bit more here. The other ones I struggle with are things like when you've got a set. Again, these ones are the bit the same, the Piney Woman ones, and I've got these. I don't think I've cooked anything from any of these books. Again, there isn't a lot of pictures. Why did I just say about pictures? And they aren't vegetarian. They are healthy, but... So... I really should be letting them go. Well, because I just discovered that I really don't like cookbooks without pictures, I've realised that's why I haven't really consulted those books. So I'm going to let the three of them go. I'll probably send them to the library. These ones have got great pictures. <laughs> so, so, and we do make the breakfast potatoes <laughs> every Easter. But um, I'll have to think about those. <laughs> I think once I go through, I'm going to find a space where my cookbooks are going to be, and if they don't fit in that space, then they're going to have to reconsider. Okay, I am. 
I'm going to donate this one. This one was hard. I've had this book well, since it first came out. Let's see when it is. When it first came out. I've got a date somewhere. No, I don't know. I've, I've read Rhonda's blog. Well, I used to read Rhonda's blog back in the days when there wasn't a lot of blogs around. <laughs> I think I actually wanted to be Rhonda at one stage. Um, but... I have not read this book, but I've got to page seven. All these years I've had this for, oh gosh, I don't know how many years. I don't think I'm going to keep it anymore. I know everything in here. It's not like I don't know this stuff. I love the pictures and stuff though. Oh, I'm looking through it now, I want to read it. Maybe I should be prioritizing reading this book. Routines, that's what I need. I don't think there's really anything I'm going to learn in this book. It's probably on her blog if I want it anyway. So look, I'm going to take out my little bookmark. That's a cute one. I'm going to put my big girl panties on and I'm going to donate that one. These two are from, from YouTube channels, Tanya Burr and Fleur. And I'm just going to keep these because I've only got them recently, so I'm hoping to read them. These two I'm struggling with, the Miranda Kerr books. Uh, I've never, like, really read them. <laughs> I've flicked through them from time to time. I don't know, I should have let it go. Let them go, but they're just such pretty books. But, yeah, I'm going to let them go. Away with you. Okay. These will be a bit harder. <laughs> to let go of, as I said, I've always got the library as an option. I'm super impressed with myself. From my stack of like home organising books, I'm donating that many and keeping just three. Um, possibly shouldn't keep that one. Those two I thought would be handy. Even that one I'm not real sure about, but again, I will go back through these again at a later time. But that were three that I wanted to keep still. But I got rid of all them. I think I'm really happy with myself. <laughs> oh, and I'm just, as I'm doing these books, I just realised I'm being watched. By my last chicken. She's our last chicken. She's stretched right up to see in. She wonders where all her friends have gone. We lost the last one just last week. And she's our only girl left. At one time I was really into simple living. I kind of still am. But at the moment I'm just trying to survive with fibromyalgia really. And get a working routine. So things that I used to want to do. Like bake bread and keep chickens. And my vegetable garden. A lot of those things are gone. That sort of part of my life. I don't know when we're going to get back. So I think I will donate that one. That one and that one. I just you might notice that she was a library book. I borrowed it and I think barely chewed it up, and destroyed it. So I had to rebuy it and give them a new copy, and I end up getting to keep this copy. So I don't know they're really going to want it back. So I think I'll just donate it because um, there's nothing wrong with the book. You can still read it, <laughs> and it's a good book. But obviously, I know the library have a copy because I provide them with one. This is my last and easiest part to do because I do a lot of scrapbooking stuff and if you've been keeping up with my other videos you'll know I don't actually plan to scrapbook in a traditional manner anymore so they can all just get donated. That's easy. So I think I've done pretty good. I've got a few books, a few doggy ones. I did a rod and dog ones I'll keep. A few home ones. A few ones unread. Um, there's still a few maybes in here, but I reckon. Look, I've sort of not quite half, but almost half are going. So there, those stacks are going. As I some I'll put aside to just donate, and some I'll send to the library. And then, I'll, well, as I go back through, I've found my space, and they. I don't think they're all going to fit in my space, but they may actually do. They may actually fit in the space for my cookbooks. I've got a few there to check with the girls. This Australian Women's Whitley Basic one has got so many good recipes in it, 
but I'm kind of it's look it's fallen apart I think I will just um may rip out the recipes that we use <laughs> some we used to use obviously the meat ones we don't make anymore but we have made but like our Anzac cookies are from this one and I still get out the this book when we made Anzac cookies the other day and it's got a potato salad in it that we use and we had a fruit crumble the trifle there's some um recipes in here that we've been using for a very very long time the potato salad but again I can probably just pull them out and stick them into um, something else because obviously the book's fallen apart so I will go um, and see about fitting these in well now instead of my cookbooks being in three different places in the kitchen they are all in here which means the ones that I wasn't sure about keeping might actually get a bit more used and the next time I go through them, do you really think of a system? Maybe if I put a dot on the front or something to signal that I've used it, and then maybe in another six months or so I can go back and um, weasel out some that perhaps I, I'm still not referencing. But anyway, that's my space. So I guess if I buy another one, I have to find one in there to get rid of. And I've even put the kids' one. This is a few I'm waiting on for them to decide on, but they can either go there or I'm happy to put the kids' ones up in the cupboard. And I'm planning to put all my, my class ones and stuff up there as well. I think that'll work. And then, So I'm super happy with the progress of my books. I think I did really well. As you know, I was a bit nervous about doing it. Didn't quite know how it was going to go. But I think it went really well. And obviously I've certainly downsized the number of books I've got by well over 50%, I would say, overall. And I've just got to find home for the other books that I want to keep. So if you haven't actually done your books yourself... <laughs> You know, it's coming. I challenge you to do your books. Not easy, particularly if you've got a lot of books, I understand. But, yeah. And if you've got a Kindle, really think hard about the ones that you're keeping because, and whether the fact that you actually read the paperback or a hardcover book. I used to be a book collector. I understand when Kindles came, I never, ever thought in a million years I would like one. My mum was exactly the same. Both of us were adamant we would hate reading on a Kindle and now neither of us can stand reading proper paper books which is half the reason I struggle with these blog books and things like that that I get from bloggers and YouTubers because I don't read proper books very much anymore especially in bed which is when I do the bulk of my reading so anyway let me know how you get on with your books <laughs> I'm not sure what's next I kind of dread to look ahead too far so anyway I'm really happy with what I did